I'm Dr. Rhiannon Thompson. Um, I have an undergraduate in Biomedical Sciences and I also have a PhD in Neurosciences. And today I'm at Discovery Day with a stall called Nay Gender Limits, as you'll see on my t-shirt. And the idea behind our stall is to challenge perspectives and try to show people that you can be whatever you want, no matter whether you're a boy, girl, woman, man, or what your background is. I started doing psychology at A-level. I followed that through to psychology with clinical psychology at undergraduate and then carried on to do a PhD in social cognitive neuroscience. Um, I wanted to get into something where I could help people figure out what made them tick and do something to help others, basically. Brains and how they work, why people do what they do. Being at the cutting edge of something, figuring out something for the first time or knowing something that other people have never known before is just a fantastic feeling. I'm Dr Alan McHugh, I'm a lecturer at the University of Aberdeen in the Department of Chemistry. I'm Laurent Trombleau and I'm also a lecturer in the uh, University of Aberdeen and uh, I teach organic chemistry and do research in uh, also organic and medicinal chemistry. I think growing up I was kind of fascinated by some of the things I learned in school and just developed an interest in understanding why the world is the way it is. I think it's a bit the same for me and trying to understand what's going on in the world, how things work, how nature works and yeah, a uh, passion for uh, observation. I'm a deep sea evolutionary biologist so my current work looks at deep sea amphipods, they're kind of crustacean and it's to look at what genes are responsible for allowing them to live in the deep sea which has a high hydrostatic pressure, not a lot of light, not a lot of food. It's really an extreme environment so we're sort of looking at the extremes of um, evolution. So I'm currently studying chemical engineering at the University of Aberdeen. I'm doing electronic engineering at the University of York. Um, and we're just here for a Robocal's workshop. I've always liked maths and chemistry and I always thought I was going to pursue science. Um, yeah, so I've just always done what I was passionate about. How about you? Yeah, I've always been kind of a tinkerer. Like, the DVD player's broken, I'll unscrew it, look what's inside, as it work. Yeah, so I just fell into engineering. Science, science actually has a huge impact on the world we, we live in. So, for example, with chemistry, if I look around any single room, every single product in that, it's a product of the chemical industry. So, with, without chemistry, life is not the way it is today. Um, for example, where do we get the fuel to drive our cars? How do we get from A to B? That all revolves around chemistry. So, it's it's such a fundamental and important science that it shapes the world we live in. I've always been interested in, in science throughout school. Biology was always my favourite subject. Um, I'm actually originally from Peterhead, so marine stuff's always been part of my life. Um, my dad had a boat when I was younger, um, so seeing things like sunfish, really weird and bizarre things, was good fun and decided to follow that. Once I finished my PhD, what really interested me is gender equality in sciences. For sciences to be strong, for us to be able to use our talents of all, what we really need is both boys and girls to be going into all types of sciences. So I do have quite a strong view on it, where I think anyone's capable of doing anything. And as a world, um, for us to advance in sciences, we really do need both all genders to be coming into all the different types of sciences. Um, Robogals is a student-run organisation to get more girls into STEM, um, as there's a huge gender imbalance in that field. So we go into local schools and we try to reduce the stereotype stigma that is like on only guys can do science and engineering and all that. We just try to show it. it's for everybody. Like it's always portrayed that in the media, in like TV and all that. And we try to get rid of that stereotype. And sh we always try to show really inspirational women in science at the end of our workshops as well. And just give them examples of people who've achieved um, I think the sort of stereotypical Einstein white lab coat, crazy hair everywhere, I think is probably what most people would, would spring to mind for most people, um, which I think is just not true when you consider the vast diversity even within today, just how many people are there. And I really, anyone who's interested in science and exploring the natural world in any way is a scientist themselves. And I think the more that people have access to science, the more 
they're interested in it and the more they want to be engaged in it. If you, if you hide it away in a room, no one's going to know what you do, they're not going to be interested, they're not going to enjoy it. Science is, is to be enjoyed and I think having a science week and getting people in of all ages and being able to share that is incredible.